always wanted, my best friend Catherine said to me. We giggled and gossiped every Sunday morning over tea. I couldn't help myself but brag about how I'd found the most amazing man I had ever met. The man I knew I wanted to marry and be with for the rest of my life. We met one summer at my cousin's beach party. His name was Derek, and the moment he looked at me, I felt chills travel up my spine. When he approached me, I could feel my hands quivering and my cheeks burning. And when he said hello, in his low masculine voice, I felt like I was under his spell. He was tall and athletic, and those eyes. I couldn't stop staring into the depths of his perfect hazel eyes. As summer wore on, I began spending more and more time with Derek. I felt like he was the one, the man I'd been waiting for my entire life. The sex was raw, hot, and passionate, and even in my wildest dreams, I never knew that I could share such an intimate connection with another person. And I couldn't remember the last time I felt this buzz of joy and infatuation flooding through my entire body. But months wore on and something deeply disturbing began happening. The newness of our relationship started wearing off, and Derek began getting colder and more distant towards me. He started ignoring my phone calls and text messages, and during the times we were together, I felt like Derek's mind was somewhere else. It was almost like he was fantasizing about another woman when he looked at me. Now, I know infatuation doesn't last forever, but I knew this feeling all too well. I sensed Derek totally disconnecting from me, and I was terrified. I think he's just a player, said Catherine. I'd forget about him. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about the passionate connection that we shared that summer. And there was no way I'd forget those alluring hazel eyes. I decided that enough was enough, and I didn't want to lose the man that had made me feel so special and alive. So one day I decided to surprise him with his favorite home-cooked meal. But little did I know that what was about to happen